Washington County was a great place to grow up. In my town, we not only knew our classmates, but we knew their brothers and sisters, and we knew their parents and their grandparents, their aunts and uncles, and it was a real sense of community. My mother was a school teacher. She taught for 38 years. She drilled into us at an early age how important education was, and that's always stayed with me, so education's always been a priority for me. Remember me, I'm Harry Ray. My father was a World War II veteran and an electrician. He was a role model in terms of a guy who went out and worked hard every day. My dad taught me the value of hard work. Well, growing up with seven brothers, uh, you learn early on uh, the art of compromise. Uh, you learn how to negotiate. And I've always felt that uh, some of the leadership skills that I've brought to the Maine Senate are a byproduct of growing up in a large family where you learn to uh, listen to different points of view. Family is so important. My wife Karen and I are a team in business, in public service, and in life. I couldn't do any of it without her love and support. Our family business uh, has been going for 112 years, and we're the fourth generation of the Ray family to make mustard here in Eastport. We have the last stone ground mustard mill in North America. We still make it the way it was made 110 years ago. We're very proud of carrying on a family tradition and a main tradition, and we're very proud of our great workers. I think the experience of being a small businessman is a very valuable experience for anyone in public office because now I know firsthand what it means to make a payroll, to provide health insurance for our employees, to jump through regulatory hoops and hurdles. Small business is the backbone of Maine's economy. Small business drives Maine's economy. If we don't have a vibrant small business community, we're going to be in trouble. That's why I've been committed to making sure that we have regulatory reform, lower taxes, the kinds of things that can help small business to prosper. I worked for Olympia Snow for 17 years. I would help uh, veterans and senior citizens uh, navigate the federal bureaucracy, whether it was the VA or the Social Security Administration. Uh, I ended up running her offices in Maine and then had the opportunity to go to Washington where I served as a Chief of Staff in the United States Senate. It was an extraordinary opportunity to learn a lot about Maine, about Maine people, but also about how Washington works. And I think that that's been a valuable experience for me, certainly serving in the Maine Senate, and I know it will help me hit the ground running to be a stronger voice for Maine and Washington. I ran for the Maine Senate because I felt that my area, down East Maine, really needed a strong voice in Augusta. Someone who would stand up and be counted uh, and advocate, advocate for jobs and advocate for the people. One of the things I'm proudest of is that when my party nominated me to be president of the Senate, I received the vote of every senator, Democrat, Republican, and Independent alike. One of the first things I did was to take a look at my own budget and I realized that there was too much money being spent in the Senate President's office. So I reduced spending on the staff budget by 20% right off the top, and I did it to lead by example. I'm very proud of the fact we've made a difference in Augusta. We've really made long-term decisions that will help put Maine on a stronger path of fiscal responsibility. We passed the largest tax cut in the history of Maine. We passed landmark regulatory reform. We've passed welfare reform. We've reduced the debt by $1.7 billion. I'm proud of the fact that I have a reputation as a fighter. I'm proud of the fact that I have a reputation of somebody who stands up for my district. That's what I've done in the Maine Senate, and that's exactly what I will do in Washington. <laughs>